holidays are usually associated with the holiday season, making wreaths and garlands, but what they do for the landscape is add cheer to your garden all season long. I love hollies because they keep their distinctive, dense, glossy leaves all year, which makes them a great foundation planting for any garden design. As a bonus, hollies take center stage in the colder months. In the fall, they set their berries to persist throughout the winter. There are over 480 species of ilex, the Latin name for holly. They are a large and diverse group that ranges from small shrubs to tall trees, so there are many options. This is Ilex Miserve, also known as blue holly. It's what you think of when you think of a classic holly. It produces those brilliant red berries in the fall, and it has these deep blue-green leaves. So the texture of these leaves has a very spiny, serrated edge, but they're not too sharp like the American holly, which will really prick your finger on. This is a vigorous growing shrub. It grows about six to eight inches each year. This holly is tolerant of the cold and performs best in zones five through eight. This one is a male and this one is a female. The female are the ones that hold the berries. And if you want to produce berries, you need a male pollinator to pollinate them. They need to be planted within 100 feet of each other in the yard to ensure that the female will have berries. Another important thing is when you're at the nursery, don't forget to check out the tags. They will tell you exactly what you need to know about the plant and whether it's a male or female. This is Ilex crenata, a Japanese holly that's native to Asia. It's a dense evergreen shrub. Unlike the Ilex miserve, the Ilex crenata has smaller, smoother leaves and it has a deep, lustrous green color. People often mistake it for a boxwood, but it's actually in the holly family. There's many different growth habits for the Japanese hollies. These are Ilex crenata sky pencil. They're a very vertical, upright plant. Uh, they need to be pruned to keep that habit, otherwise they have a tendency to splay out. I find that they're used more in decorative gardens, like finer gardens, than in a rugged landscape. Then you have an Ilex crenata hetzai. That's gonna be more of like a shrub that stays lower and more rounded. So there's many different applications for all these Japanese hollies. Ilex crenatas grow best in zones five to nine. If you experience harsh winters, you might want to wrap it in burlap. Both the Meserve and the crenata can tolerate full sun to part shade and like moist, well-drained soil. If you want easy to take care of evergreens, plant some hollies in the spring and enjoy them all year. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.